Welcome back to Sunny with a Chance of Funny. I'm your host, Calvin Evans. Last week, rap mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs made headlines for a domestic dispute with longtime girlfriend and singer Cassie. The details aren't important, but I say that to say that it was all over the news. Interesting enough, what did make the news is that yesterday, P. Diddy actually opened up a charter school in Harlem, New York. Check it out. In they filed 176 sixth and seventh graders on the first day ever of their new charter school. The idea came to me through a person who I'd never met, but I'd always admire. A gentleman by the name of Sean P. Diddy, Puff Daddy Combs. Diddy then gave a pep talk from a teleprompter. I want Harlem to have the best schools. I want Harlem to have the best of everything. Educator Sean Diddy Combs cut the ribbon. Well, instead of me um, complaining about education, I wanted to do something about it. So that's why I'm opening up the school, Capital Prep Harlem and it's gonna have a, a, a leadership curriculum. That's some crazy shit. How you make the news for whooping ass but not starting class? Now, I think he should've just called the school Bad Boy Charter School. That would've been some cool shit. All the students, when they came in, their first couple years would've been fucking amazing, then they would've got dropped from the school, then they would've went to another school and not had the same amount of success, and then people would've just forgot about them. Y'all see what I did there? But seriously though, that's some cool shit. Could you imagine P. Diddy just walking down the halls of the school? I wish Chicago artists would do stuff like this. I would love to see Kanye West open up his own school. I don't understand it, bro. I've been conflicted, bro. Listen to the kids, bro. Fuck that. Could y'all imagine if R. Kelly had his own school? From the <laughs> I'm just playing. I wasn't going to do that. But some of y'all did want to see. Y'all sitting there like, what is he going to do? This leads me to my topic discussion today. Are you being the change that you want to see? I mean, it's a lot of stuff going on in the world, the country that we live in, the city that we live in, even our neighborhoods. Are we affecting change in some way? I mean, it's easy to point out problems. It don't cost no money. It don't cost us no time. But we got to stop pointing. We got to start poking and prodding and instigating change. Obviously, 99% of us don't have the money to start our own charter schools, but what we do have is a wealth of knowledge that we can impart on youth, our community, and also apply to things that matter. Let me know what y'all think. How much power do you think you have in effect to change your city or community? Are we completely powerless, or are we just oblivious? Leave some comments down below and let me know what y'all think. I've been your host, Calvin Evans. You're watching Sunny with a Chance of Funny. I'm out.